One of the things I've learned is that our construct of time as linear, which is that there's a past, a present and a future, well, that's, ma that's a man-made construct. We don't actually know how time works. Uh, a lot of the first American nations believe that time happens in a spiral. And so as you are progressing through your life, you are passing by times and things and people that you've passed by before. And most people just have blinkers on and aren't aware of that at all. But if you're more open to the fact that time works in a different way, then you would understand that there's no such thing as coincidence or serendipity. It's because you're mentally passing through places that you've been past before. At the same time, or you're going back in time, or? Well, <laughs> it's, no, not so that you're not going back in time. I don't think we can do that yet, but you're passing close to, you know, let's call it memories or emotions or intuitions that we're not normally, they're not in our brain. They might be, what we're thinking now is that the brain is filtering our mind down to survive in this material world. And that actually our consciousness could be much bigger than that. Um, and areas of research I've looked at around that are things like, I'll explain these terms in a minute if you don't know what they are. Sure. Terminal lucidity, near-death experiences, and past life memories. So terminal lucidity is when someone who's got dementia or they've had a stroke or a brain injury suddenly becomes completely lucid. So they go from not recognizing their own children, not even knowing that they have children anymore, to suddenly saying, Lewis, son, come here. I want to say something to you that's really important to wow. me. And usually they die within one to 24 hours of that happening.